instance of rape, incest, or the health of the mother, then you're not pro-life. You don't pick and choose which and if, babies are to die. And if you look at those three exceptions, you'll virtually find that there is no, there's nothing as far as the health of the mother. What? Not not these days. What? A hangnail? Anything? Anything? Right. Any pregnant woman's at risk, and anything can be used as health of the mother. That's Where right. do you draw the line and say this? I'm this too is nervous the to have a baby. Right. 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 I was diabetic and I'm dangerous. So I was older. You know what? Fifty years ago, we didn't have the tech technology that we have now. We didn't have the specialists for high risk pregnancy. We have that now, and virtually, and you can ask any converted abortionist that virtually that does not happen. That's right. There are no mothers that die from childbirth. So why do we have to even have that exception in there? Rape, to be a true back alley, what I call back alley rape, is less than 1% of all oh, abortions. very small. Less than 1%. Very small. And there are scientific reasons for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. The woman just does not, her body does not respond to a rape that would be conducive to making a baby. I mean, that's scientific. That, that, that's not my religious mm -hmm. beliefs. That's scientific information that's been gathered by people who have no ax to grind in this. So uh, forget rape. It's a baby. We, we do not execute a baby because of how it was conceived. The baby is the most innocent one in that triangle. You don't kill that child. You don't kill that child.